Hello children, happy to see you again. I am Dakshayani, handling biology from Bardasnar Metric Higher Secondary School, Arakona. Children, today we are going to see 12th standard, first practical, the experiment number 1, that is a fermentation by yeast. The experiments related to the practical are given at the back of your test books. So, in that, today in this session we are going to do the first experiment, that is the fermentation by yeast. So, first we have to know the aim of the experiment, why we should do this experiment. So, the main aim of this experiment is to know the variation in time taken by the fermentation of yeast in the samples 1, 2 and 3, right. So, we are going to make the 3 sample solutions and by adding the yeast, we are going to determine the variations in the time taken. So, this is the aim of this experiment. So, next we are going to see what are all the materials required, right children. Now, we are going to see the materials required for the fermentation by yeast experiment. So, the first thing we require is a 3 clean test tubes. This is a test tube 1, 2 and 3, 3 clean test tubes. The next we require the 3 cleaned beakers for making the sample solutions. We can label it as sample 1, sample 2 and sample 3. Next we require the glucose powder to make a glucose solution. So, glucose powder. Next it is a jaggery, we say in Tamil as Nati Chakre. So, with this we are going to make a sample 2 and by adding salt with the same jaggery we are going to make the sample 3 solution also. So, it is a next we require salt. Next important thing which we require for the fermentation experiment is a yeast. Just look at this children it is a yeast granule. It is available in all the supermarkets and this is the main ingredient which is used in fermentation experiment and it is also used in making breads and we can also baker's yeast we say and bun for all this we they use this yeast. This yeast, yeast makes the uh, bread or a bun very soft and porous. The next we require is a yeast solution. So, we have made the yeast solution by adding the yeast and lukewarm distilled water, lukewarm means vedu vedu paana. So, with that two things we have made the yeast solution. The next thing which, which is needed for this experiment is a cotton, right. This cotton is used to close the test tubes after the experiment. So, the next thing is a cotton. So, now we are going to start the experiment. Children, now let us see the procedure for this experiment. So, the first thing is that we have to make the sample solutions ready. That is in the sample 1, sample 2 and sample 3. So, now let us make the sample 1 solution. So, sample 1 solution we are going to add the glucose. So, this is a glucose powder children. So, with this we are going to add the we are going to add in the sample 1. So, with the glucose powder we are going to add the water. And now the sample 1 that is a glucose solution is ready for the experiment. So, sample 1 is ready. And next we are going to make the sample 2 solution that is we need a jaggery we say it as not chakra right it is a jaggery. So, with this we are going to make the sample 2. So, the sample 2 we are going to add jaggery into the sample 2 and now we are going to add the water. So, 
and now the sample 2 solution is ready and now we are going to make a sample 3. Sample 3 here we are going to use the jaggery and salt or we can use the starch also. So, in sample 3 we are going to add jaggery and salt jaggery and salt and we are going to make a sample solution. So, sample 3 solution is ready. So, sample 1 contains glucose solution, sample 2 contains jaggery solution and sample 3 contains jaggery and salt solution. Children, now we are going to start the experiment. So, in one test tube, we are going to take the sample 1. What is the solution children? Glucose, right? So, we are going to add 2 ml of glucose solution and with this we are going to add the yeast solution. Already we have prepared the yeast solution, right? So, yeast solution how we made? By adding yeast and lukewarm distilled water we have made the yeast solution. So, now we are going to add 2 ml of yeast solution. And now we are going to close this with the cotton. So, next we are going to make the experiment with the sample 2 solution. So, same procedure children add 2 ml of sample solution 2 in a test tube. So, what does this contain? It contain the jaggery right and with this we are adding the yeast. We are adding the 2 ml of yeast. And now in the same way we are covering it with the cotton plug. So, this test tube contains a sample 2. And next we are going to repeat the experiment with the sample 3. So, the sample 3 contains jaggery and salt. So, add 2 ml of sample 3 to a test tube and add the yeast solution. Now, we are going to add the yeast solution and we are going to cover it with the cotton plug. So, this, this contains sample 3 and now we are going to wait for a while and now we are going to notice the time taken in each test tube to for fermentation and we can observe the fermentation with the effervescence. White foams are formed around the inside the test tubes by that we can notice that the fermentation takes place. So, Look at this children, the fermentation reaction is completed in this. How can you notice that? Yes, can you see the effervescence is formed inside the test tube, white color. So, this denotes that the fermentation reaction is complete and the gas evolved is carbon dioxide. How can you notice, how can you say that it is a carbon dioxide gas? Yes, after removing this cotton plug, if you pass this gas into the lime water, the lime water turns milky. By that you can conclude that the gas evolved is carbon dioxide. So, but in the experiment, in the study, uh, in the material, we are going to see only the time taken, we are going to calculate only the time taken. So, see this glucose, it has taken 15 minutes. In the 15 minutes time, the fermentation reaction is complete in the test tube 1. Next, this is a test tube 
two children in this we added the jaggery solution and the yeast solution so here the effervescence here also the effervescence is formed and carbon dioxide is present but when compared to the glucose here the re reaction takes place at a slow rate because the jaggery is a complex sugar so the enzyme present in the yeast zymase takes more time to break down the polysaccharide that is a complex sugar so but the glucose it is a simple sugar so fermentation has taken place very quickly this is the sample three solution children sample three what does it contain it contain the jaggery plus salt plus yeast solution here you see effervescence is formed but it took uh, very only little bit is formed here and it took it took more than 30 minutes for the effervescence so because the salt added in this solution prevents the action of zymase so here the reaction rate is very slow so what do you observe children so in the sample one in the sample one the reaction rate is very quicker that is the glucose simple sugar is present so what is the time taken 15 minutes next in the sample 2 jaggery is present it is a complex sugar it took 20 minutes for the fermentation reaction sample 3 it we added jaggery and salt salt addition of salt delayed the action of zymase so here effervescence is formed only little and it took more than 30 minutes for this reaction so now the experiment is complete children now let us see how to record our observations children we have completed the experiment and now we are going to see how to record our observations right so take our observation note and put a four side margins and you have to write first experiment the fermentation by yeast in the left corner you have to mention the exercise number that is one exercise number one and the name of the experiment is fermentation by yeast and the things to be returned in your observation notice the aim principle procedure observation and inference so what is the aim children the aim of this experiment is to find the variation in the process of fermentation by yeast in the given samples 1 2 and 3 yes we did some experiment with the sample we using the yeast in sample 1 sample 2 and sample 3 and we got some readings so we are going to check the variations of the time taken and next one important thing is the principle what takes place here children fermentation takes place here by adding yeast what take what has taken place fermentation has taken place so here the glucose c6 h12o6 the glucose when we add yeast to it what happens the fermentation reaction takes place and the zymase which is present in the yeast converts the glucose into ethyl alcohol or ethanol and what is evolved carbon dioxide is evolved this we found at the while we expose that gas to the lime water what happened children the lime water turned milky so we found that the gas evolved is carbon dioxide so this is the principle and you have to write the procedure given at the back of your book so first taking the samples and then the adding the yeast and we are waiting for a while and we are recording the time taken for fermentation and now we are recording our observation so first one yes in the sample one right what is the sample children in the sample one what is the time taken yes 15 minutes 15 minutes and so what what is the result we get yes carbon dioxide is evolved or we can write the presence of carbon dioxide and in the sample 2 
sample 1 contains glucose so the fermentation takes place very fast in sample 2 what we have taken children we have taken the jaggery jaggery means what we took that not a sucre, right so in that jaggery we added the yeast what happens the fermentation takes place but it uh, take uh, it took more time when compared to that of the glucose so the time taken for the fermentation in sample 2 that is a jaggery solution is 20 minutes is 20 minutes and here what is the inference yes presence of carbon dioxide that is carbon dioxide is evolved carbon dioxide is evolved and in the sample 3 in the sample 3, what is the solution we have taken? Jaggery along with salt or we can also take the starch solution. So, here what happens children? The fermentation takes place very slowly. It took nearly 30 minutes for fermentation. And here absence of carbon dioxide. Absence of carbon dioxide. Here the presence of salt slows down the reaction of the zymase. So the fermentation did not take place very quickly. So this is the observation and what is the inference? Inference is the result. So what do we get from this experiment? Yes. So when compared to other sample 1 which contains the glucose get fermented very quickly when compared to that of the sample 2 and sample so, the inference is that simple sugar that is a glucose get fermented at a faster rate when compared to that of the complex sugar because the jaggery or the starch we used is a complex sugar. So, the action of zymase is very quicker in the glucose and what happened? Glucose easily get converted into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide is evolved but it is slow in the samples 1 and 2. So, this is the inference of the first uh, experiment. So, you have to write the aim, principle, procedure, observation and inference in your observation notebook. So, children we have completed the first experiment of 12th standard zoology practical. What is the name of the experiment? Fermentation by yeast. Yes. Record all your observations in the observation notebook, 80 pages unruled notebook. Thank you children, have a nice day.